All right, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome to another Saturday stream today. Uh, we are back after what seems like forever getting into Marvel Heroes here. But hang on one second. I just realized that I forgot to like change all the stuff on my Twitch. OMG. Let me see if it'll let me do it while I'm actively streaming. Um, let's see. What was it going to do? do um let's see here doop doop doo so there's a couple of interesting things that we need to talk about today you guys okay there's some very interesting stuff i just want to put that out there all right now I have to send out the Twitters. You know why? Because I'm hashtags. Yeah. Don't be jealous of how awesome I am, everybody. I know you are. It's okay to be jealous, but just try not to be, all right? doop a doop a doo I'm sorry, I'm sending out the Twitters. I, I'll be done very shortly. <laughs> I have to do all the tags in the Twitters because that's what we do, you guys. It's very exciting doing the taggings in the Twitters. Oops, wrong one. Hey, look, it's Rev. Holla at you, Rev. Rev, I just saw that you said stuff on Discord. What were you saying on Discord? What was the thing? Okay. <laughs> All right. I have sent out the Twitters, you guys. Steam is down. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, um Steam it's not down for me personally. I mean, I'm I'm in the MH and I was using it earlier today as well. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what that could be. That's very strange. Uh, so the matter, yes, I've, I've got a, a Discord chat as part of my Patreon page, essentially. So, woo! Yay, Discord! Fun times. Hey, Marvel Heroes retweeted my Twitters. Awesome. But yeah, it's not down for me personally, which is good because that means that I get to stream to all of you. <laughs> very exciting stuff. And look, it's Retro Zero. Holla at ya. So I'm very excited because we've got a couple of cool things to do. Like we do have the Spider-Man Homecoming event going on right now. And we get to fight the Sinister Mini now. Um, so we can get some cool stuff. Every day we get one of these uh, fortune cards, which is kind of neat. Um, but have, have you guys seen... Look at that, Joker Cha playing a game instead of watching me. What the fudge? What the fudge, Joker Cha? Not cool. I, I know you can't hear me, but I don't care. Also, I've got like 1,100 pieces of cake that I need to trade in, and I don't know what I should get. Should I just get like a whole bunch of Cosmos? Because... <laughs> Cosmo is adorable, you guys. I don't know if you're aware, but he really is. Um, one of the big things, though, one of the big things, if you guys have not heard, is that there was an unfortunate licensing change with the game recently. Um, I believe that it has taken effect. I don't know whether or not I'm able to see it, though. We can try... But I'm pretty sure that I can't. 
Um, so essentially what happened is Gazillion had to sign a new licensing agreement with Marvel. And that's right, you can check the store. Um, so they had to sign, sign a new licensing agreement with Marvel that removed all of the Fantastic Four. Uh, so yeah, it kind of sucks. Let's see, do we have Human Torch on the list? So yeah, you notice that Human Torch is not on the list, and that's why, uh, because you, yeah, you you can officially no longer purchase any of the Fantastic Four, nor Silver Surfer, or any costumes related to them or anything else. Like all the Future Foundation stuff is gone, so we can't get the Future Foundation Doctor Doom team up or anything like that. But you notice that all the fan, the Fantastic Four are gone from here, the Hero Store, as is Silver Surfer. So Silver Surfer would be around here. Nope. Not anymore. He's gone, unfortunately. Actually, I guess Silver Surfer would be in between these two. Um, so it's, it's really unfortunate, but one of the important things to note is that it's really not Gazillion's fault. It's Marvel. Because for whatever reason, Marvel said, no, you can't have those characters anymore. And you can't have those costumes anymore and whatever it was. Um, but yeah, like er er everything, yeah, uh, everything related to them is gone. Um, including, like, we, we had the Future Foundation fortune card. That's gone as well. Because, again, it was Future Foundation. All of it had to go. Everything had to go. Um, and the nice thing is that if you already had the characters, then you can still play as them. And any costumes you had with them are still okay to have. But if new players come in and want to play as them, they can't. So it's really, really unfortunate, honestly. That's what it boils down to. But like, see, I can play as Thing or, um, I mean, anybody else. But yeah. Um, but that that's it though. Um, it's just if if you already had them, it's okay. Otherwise, no. So in any new users are not able to play. Um, I think it might have something to do with the the relaunch that they did because it was yesterday I think that they officially launched Marvel Heroes Omega, which is the console version of the game, and. Um, so that is officially out and playable. It's no longer in beta now. So that's kind. Of, that's my guess, at least, as to why it happened. But I honestly don't know. Uh, and again, it's it's something that we will never be privy to, most likely, um, because that's just the nature of this kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Incidentally, this is the uh, the new terminal that we got as part of the Spider-Man Homecoming event. It's the uh, the Daily Bugle. So first we got to go and defuse bombs, and then we go and fight the sinister lots. Sinister lots of bad guys, essentially. Uh, it's just, I mean, I I know that uh, most of you don't play. I think the matter. I can't remember. Do you still play? It's been a while since I've seen you around. But uh, do do you still play matter at all? But I, I'm I'm just curious, and I I need to adjust my random hero box spreadsheet because I assume that they will not be attainable through the random boxes anymore as well. I actually didn't see anything specific about it in the announcement, but. I would think that has to be the case, is that you are no longer able to obtain the heroes in any way. But either way, uh, it's just, it's disappointing. And like, if, if anybody here is still like in the game and pays attention to all this stuff, then you may have seen on the forums that there is lots more like bile and vitriol than usual. Which is, in and of itself, is surprising to say, because unfortunately we tend to have a decent amount lately, but now it's even worse. Ooh, Daily Bugle. I haven't gotten one of these yet. So these are just like 
you know, fun little um, quick cooldown things that we can get. So it's pretty neat. It's a neat little attribute boost that we get. Sometimes you go on. Okay. Well, like I said. Hey, Rhino. Last time I did this, it was Doc Ock in this spot. It's just, like I said, it's unfortunate because I know a lot of people are going to miss the heroes. And just reading through the forums is kind of depressing now. Because it's just, there's so much hatred. <laughs> and and I think it's really unfortunate in a big way that <clears throat> so much of that hate is directed at Gazillion specifically. Because, <clears throat> especially for example with the, um, with the Fantastic Four stuff, it's not their fault. I'm sure that they didn't want to get rid of the Fantastic Four, but Marvel said you guys got to get rid of them. I mean, that's that's what I guess had to have happened. Like, why would a video game want to remove content? I mean, Gazillion is not Electronic Arts, thankfully. So, yeah, it's just really, really disappointing. Well, and, and that's exactly what happened, Rev. Like, people started getting up in arms and going crazy about all this stuff when, I mean, really, Gazillion had nothing to do with it. Because, I don't know, some people may not realize, but the, the only reason that Gazillion is able to make this game is because Marvel says yes. So if Marvel says no, then they have to stop. Um... That includes any heroes that are already here that have been here for a really long time. It doesn't matter. Because if Marvel says no, then they have to stop using them. That's just, it's the way it works. And it's unfortunate, but it's also how it is. If Danny says no, it means yes. That is an inaccurate statement, sir. It's inaccurate. Yeah, and I don't know. It's it's unfortunate because I've I I I am not really active in the forum community anymore. Uh, just because I'm kind of like meh about it at this point. But at the same time, I like I, I still check it on occasion, and I, I do my update videos and stuff like that still. So, you know, I still see it, and it's just unfortunate because I'll go and I'll look, and I see these, like, massive, crazy, ridiculous rants and ravings and stuff that people have. And it just makes me so sad. It really does. That's all it boils down to is it's just depressing. I'm like, wow. So sad. So very, very sad. Oh, also, fun fact. The other day, um, Twitch had the announcement where you can now um, – uh, I, I now get my sub button. So I'm very excited. Even as an affiliate, I still get a sub button. I'm waiting on that Patreon to climb and climb and climb and be big and awesome and super cool so that I can stream more still. But I'm not holding my breath because I would pass out on it. But yeah, yay, sub button. And apparently if you've got the Twitch Prime, so like the linkage with Amazon Prime, then you get like you get a free subscription essentially, which I thought was kind of cool but random, but still cool. Just FYI. <laughs> but yeah, it's... I don't know. I kind of like the Spider-Man event, at least. Which is nice. I mean, we... There's... We got new content. We got this new terminal. I'm, I'm still really looking forward to seeing what they do with Infinity War. 
That's what I really want to see. Because I'm hoping that we get something super cool. Like, super cool. You guys. Oh my jaw. I, I really think that they can. I mean, like, with the uh, the rating, for example, you know, we got uh, for Thor with uh, Muspelheim. And I could totally see doing a Thanos raid. Like, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Canada Day. That's right, it is Canada Day. Happy Canada Day indeed. Maple syrup cocoons. Awesome. Can be a super pro streamer. Oh yeah, I'm totes pro. Oh my god, you guys. I made like the biggest mistake of my life earlier this week. I actually started a League of Legends account. I, I, I hadn't done it before. Um, at least not, not in like a current iteration. I played a really, really long time ago. Uh, and so yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to get sucked down the rabbit hole, you guys. I'm trying. You notice I'm not streaming League of Legends. I'm streaming Marvel Heroes. But yeah, I I did I, I did do that thing where I started it. And now I'm just like looking at my hands like what have I become? What am I doing? At least I'm not playing Call of Duty. I mean it could be wor could be worse. PUBG what is PUBG? That I'm not familiar with. Is that some inappropriate acronym? Is that acronym inappropriate for the children, Rev? Keep in mind, there might be tiny humans. I don't know if there are. There don't seem to be. But there might be. I'm just saying. Player Unknown Battleground. Doesn't ring a bell. I honestly don't know that I've ever heard of it. I have gotten bad enough that I actually watched like world championships of the um of League of Legends though. And honestly, they are pretty interesting to watch, I guess, but most of it's just the commentary. You're like if you just sit there and like watch one person or even one team, then it's kind of boring. But listening to the commentary, I, I mean, it, it, like that's what makes the broadcast. I mean, that's the whole point. Just like with any um, sort of professional sport event, it's the same thing. Oh, new flavor of the month. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. I mean, you guys know me. I don't do that. I don't, I don't go for like the flavor of the month stuff. Mostly because I can't afford it. <laughs> Like, even if I wanted to play all these things, so like when Overwatch was first released, everybody was like, oh my god, you gotta get Overwatch. I'm like, dude, it's $60. Like, I'm not gonna go and buy Overwatch. Like, no. <laughs> I can't afford it. It's like, I need monies. I thought, oh man, and I, you guys, I have managed to not buy anything off the Steam Summer Sale yet. I, uh, it, it's only like a few more days, so I think I'll be all right. But man, I'm 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 nervous, you guys. I'm super nervous. <laughs> I, I'm worried that I'm gonna break, cause it's the beginning of the month now, and that means that Danny gets paid. And if Danny gets paid, that means he has money. And if Danny has money, then that means that games can be purchased. You guys, do you see the problem here? Do you see this problem? Like, what, what is the game about? Like, how is it so popular if it's so boring? Wow, they, they actually dropped an Uru Forged. Like, seriously, Uru Forge drops are just so pointless now, it's not even funny. I don't know. I mean, some some streamers do that stuff. And, and again, like, for me, I, 
I do my best to not just follow like trends and stuff because I just I kind of find it tacky, honestly. Um, and I and so I try to avoid doing that, but. Oh, it's a survival game. Okay, okay. I think I, I, I think I've seen somebody play that. Then, huh? Euro Truck Simulator. Nice, nice. It's so weird to hear about some of these games because people say like Euro Truck, like the truck simulators are awesome. Everybody loves freaking Farming Simulator. Just like, are you guys serious? Like, how can you enjoy these games so much? That's just so odd. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love me some, uh, some like, simulation games. Like, I'm a huge fan of Civilization and stuff. You guys know that if you've been watching me for a while. But, jeez. Oh, Battle Royale thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I mean, it's just not me, you know. Just like, I mean, like League of Legends. Okay, yeah, it's. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. I had a blast playing it. I really did. I've done like the the whole co-op versus AI thing, and I just have like my little free account, and it's cool. It's a fun game. I've I've had fun with it, uh, but I could never find myself being super serious about it. Um, I don't think I could find myself being super serious about any game, really. I just don't have the skills for it, frankly. But, uh, again, I mean, if, if you're playing any game professionally, then it's your job. So you're playing, like, eight hours a day. And, yeah, that's not me. But it would be a fun way to make a living, that's for sure. Ah! Incidentally, who's going to see Homecoming? I definitely want to see it. I'm not going to watch it, like, you know, day one or even the, the first weekend. But I, I do want to see it. It looks pretty cool. I like that they went a little campy with it. I think that's good. I think that's kind of what Spider-Man needed. You know, like, it's not to the extent of Deadpool, but campy enough to be campy, you know? You're meant on the Spoodermans. Uh, I'm trying to think. When did the first McGuire one come out? Was it... Was it early 2000s or like late 90s? I don't remember. The, the first Spooderman. Let me see here. I don't I don't remember. Okay, 2002 was the first one. Okay. So that was like the first first one with well, I guess the first modern one with Toby Maguire. And so he did the 3 and god that third one was so awful. Um so they had that and then they did Amazing Spider-Man and then didn't they do Amazing Spider-Man 2 as well? And now they're doing Spider-Man Homecoming. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. <gasps> it's Marathuin! Holla at you, Marathuin. Great to have you, as always. So, Rev, do you mean that you're just met on Spooderman in general or the movies specifically? Like, are you met on the comics as well? Because you are our resident comic person. What is this? Is that 1,300 mils? 1.3 liters i 300 mils i'm just there there's a joke here somewhere and i'm not seeing it l 300 mils l3 hmm i i don't know there, there it's a new person i'm excited i'm just trying to figure out what the name means this is going to bug me <laughs> hmm pretty sure that's an l in front of the 300 L three hundred mil. L three hundred. Huh. 
Never been a fan of the character. Okay. Wait, is, is Tiny Human shopping with you as well? Because Rev was saying some very inappropriate things. I don't want Tiny Human to be seeing that and be subjected to it. We can't have that for Tiny Human. That's rude. It's very rude. Cannot have that. Earlier today, I, so I was doing my workout, and now I just got sidetracked, but uh, I was doing my workout, and for those who don't know, uh, when, I do my, uh, when I do my workouts, I, uh, I use VR, the virtual reality. I've got my headset, and I, it said that I got like a new thing, but I couldn't see what it was. And so now I'm curious what it actually is. But I don't... The problem is I tried to look at it. And then it like wouldn't let me. Because it doesn't work when you're in the VR thing. Oh, Big Pharma. That's what I should play. You guys, seriously, if you haven't played Big Pharma, it's super fun. Just FYI. Rev, stop lying. You know that you were saying inappropriate things to the to the the children's and the tiny humans. What should I do, guys? I don't know what to do anymore. I'm lost. So, Marathon, you missed our discussion that we had earlier. Well, we were talking about the Fantastic Four because unfortunately they they have been removed from the game. Uh, well, they've been removed from the store, so they are no longer purchasable in the game like you can't get them with eternity splinters you can't get them with uh uh with the g's you can't do nothing with them and it sucks it's not bueno so any new players who are coming in to to try to get those characters and play as them can't not to mention all of the things related to them which really sucks because i was honestly i was kind of hoping that at some point i could get that cool spider-man one the uh, not the what if but um i guess it's just called the spider-man bag man i guess it's it's just like an alt costume because there's the spider-man bag man and the the other big one was the ghost rider what if that's that's the what if one where ghost rider was a member of the fantastic four it's like you can't get that costume anymore because everything related to them is gone uh, so all the costumes and also for silver surfer so five heroes gone all of their costumes all the costumes related to their canon everything gone um, and you guys still haven't told me what I should get. And I don't know. I, I don't know what's cool here. I don't want a cake, Flourish. I think I should just get like 10 Cosmos. Well, I can't get 10. I could get, I could get like 7. Maybe 8. And that would be cool. Then people will respect me. Right? People would respect me. Weapon X Catalyst. I could get the old cake. <laughs> I love that the old cake because the I mean the cake's going stale. They gotta sell it for cheaper. Like, come on. I can't afford everything. I mean look, bam, bam, bam. Just those three. That's all of the things. 500 Eternity Splinters. That's a lot of ES. I mean, you're basically buying a hero for that. Or potentially buying a hero. If you get two of those, you literally buy any hero you want. Which is kind of cool. Except for the Fantastic Four. Um, guys, I don't know what to get. I'm going to get a Crimson Box, okay? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get two. I got two crimson boxes, you guys. And I'm going to get a Cosmo. Because Cosmo is adorable. All right. You guys think I'm going to get something good? <gasps> Actually, that's pretty good. I'll take a Swiggin. I'm, I'm happy with a Swiggin. Okay, here we go again. <gasps> Bah! 
Aw, man! Magneto was right. Boo. I've already got a bunch of those. Or at least I did. I think I got rid of most of them. But either way. Guys, what should I do? <gasps> should I prestige Iron Fist again? That's what I should do. You guys have good ideas. First, I got to clear out my inventory, though. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Look, see, I even have, like, the picture of it as my thing here. Guys, look, I got cake. I got delicious, delicious cake. I'm just saying, any game that has cake as one of the items is great in my book. Like, I'm down. Why do I still have a magic costume in here? I probably got it from the grinder at some point. I don't think I have... Oh, I do have her inventory. Awesome. Yeah, so let's do that. Guys, look! Don't you love Inventory Simulator 2017? Isn't it like the best game ever? Y'all know it is. Don't deny it. Look, there's another Swiggin. But for, for those uninitiated, Swiggin is the sacred white gorilla necklace. That's what I call it anyway. I don't know if other people use that term, but I do because I think it sounds hilarious. So y'all can just be like, uh, whatever. Ooh, a storm costume. Why do I have a st Why do I have random costumes? God dang it. Rev, you hacking my inventory, putting random crap in here. All of my other various pets. Like, I, I need, like, I need a new thing that's nothing but pets. Because I've already got one that's pretty much all pets. I need another one. I know I already had a, a stack of those uh, Mystic Mayhem things. Just got to track, track it down. What was that? Oh, that's right. I forgot I got the female Thor costume. Because she was deemed worthy. Fun fact, for those unaware, during the Marvel and DC crossover series that they did, Wonder Woman was able to pick up Mjolnir. She was deemed worthy. And on top of that, she elected to not use Mjolnir. She elected not to take advantage of its power and actually gave it back. Because she's Wonder Woman. And that's how awesome she is. Just FYI, for those unaware. If you hacked my account, it would be organized. <laughs> okay, well, so Rev, do you want to, like, hack my account by chance? Because I'm just saying, I'd be down for it. I'm like, you know, oh, no. Woe is Danny's account that is now nice and organized. <laughs> I I would be... Oh, I would be, oh, so sad. Oh, woe is Danny. It's like, oh, oh, no, I left my password out in the open. Oh, dear. Whatever shall I do? There is nothing that can fix this terrible problem. That's mean. Rude message spelled out in items. That is not cool, Rev. Remember, there are potentially tiny humans here. Okay? We still didn't even know if there are tiny humans present. But we have to pretend like there are tiny humans. Right? I'm going to go and prestige Iron Fist. Because I'm cool. You notice that he runs like a ninja in Naruto? That's what I always think of when I see Iron Fist run. And you know what's even funnier than that? I actually found a paper a while ago that published the fact that... Wait, what? Right, there we go. That was very scary. 
um, there there was a there was a publication that said if you run like that, like Naruto style, you actually run faster than if you run the normal non goofy looking way. And I just thought it was hilarious. I'm gonna have to look that study up. It would be rude not have seen. <laughs> Danny throws like someone who is not skilled in athletics. <laughs> Sir, I demand satisfaction. <laughs> demand satisfaction from Rev. Because that is rude. You, sir, have insulted my honor. I must have at you. Prepare for fisticuffs. <laughs> uh, like, I, I am. It's funny because today, incidentally, I am like utterly exhausted. Like my body is so sore after yesterday. My suit game is at best average. Well, that's true because I don't fit into any of my suits anymore. So I I agree with that analysis. I mean, it's still rude. Why can't you just be like a normal person, Rev, and spell out, like, never gonna give you up? I'm just saying. Could be nice about it. Cheese. Cheese and crackers. You know what I'm glad for, though? It's that with this, and it's also kind of interesting, this whole thing with, like, the Fantastic Four, we still have Doctor Doom. Like, is it me or is that kind of weird? Like, I don't know the intricacies of all of this stuff. But I would think that Doctor Doom would be inexorably linked to that canon and that licensing. I mean, I'm crazy though. Then he enjoys Nickelback. Oh, dude, come on. I thought you said you were going to be a decent human being about it, man. Not, uh, don't be telling people I like Nickelback. Like, come on now. Dude, there, like, there, there's a line, sir. There is a line. <laughs> I mean, even in the worst comments that I get on my YouTube channel, no one has ever claimed that I like Nickelback. I mean, really. It's right. Well, apology accepted, Rev. Thank you. It was too far. It was over the line. See this? This is this is the line, and this is you, Rev. You you went over it. You went over that line. It's in a probes. Ooh, Dishonored. So, one of my friends just started playing Dishonored. Speaking of which, speaking of friends, um, Retro, who was very kind enough to uh, to share the games with me, I was so excited because I did my stream. What was it? Was it? It was on Monday. Yeah, yeah, it was this past Monday where I did the uh, the near autonomata or near autonoma. Uh, stream which is a blast and I was so sad because like, I wanted to play it last night but retro was online and so I couldn't play it I was like god dang it I want to play <laughs> and I was so excited but I couldn't do it and I was just like dang it because I was waiting for somebody and, and I was just like I should play a game and I was like I'll play that near Autonoma and then I couldn't you were idling God dang it, Retro! <laughs> you weren't even playing a game, man! It's not cool! It's not cool, man!
No, nah, it's okay. I, uh, m my point was more just that I enjoyed the game so much, I really wanted to play it. Um, I did get Stardew Valley installed, though. So I, I want to try that out at some point. I've been looking forward to that because, again, like with, with uh, Stardew Valley, uh, it's like, um, I mean, you guys have mentioned it several times, talking about how it's like basically a, a modernized-ish um, um, Harvest Moon. And I love Harvest Moon. So, yeah. Do I want the immortal weapon of Agamotto? i go with this one. You guys, I just realized I can do a costume grinder. All right, we're taking bets. We're taking all the bets. What do you guys think I'm going to get? Do you guys think I'm going to get a Squirrel Girl costume? Raise your hand if you think I'm going to get a Squirrel Girl costume. Ta taking all bets. Taking all bets. You won't win anything. I mean, unless you want to. Like, if you win, I could give you, give you like a fortune card or whatever. But I don't know if anybody would want a fortune card. Squirrel Girl Christmas costume. <laughs> oh, terrible. You left it running for three days? Good lord, sir. I I hate leaving my uh, leaving my computer on for so long. I just feel really weird about it. And I always get scared that something's going to break. Because I, I love my computer. I'm like, I love you, computer. One of the Iron Man costumes. One of the many, many Iron Man costumes. Maybe I'll get Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster would be pretty sweet. I would not mind that. So we've got a guest for some Squirrel Girl something or other. And then we've got a guest for some Iron Man something or other. Uh, oh, yeah. I got to go to the crafter for this. Oh, so here. So at the ES vendor. So it's like I, I can't. I mean, you can't buy any of the heroes here anyway, but yeah, we can't get the Fantastic Four with the the things anyways. Oh, you have Raspberry Pi. Okay, okay. Mm. Never mind then. Carry on. Carry on. Uh, let's see. I can never remember where it was. Is it in Catalyst? Yeah, random costume. All right, you guys, are you ready? All right, ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. I can't. Is it good? Is it lame? It's probably lame, right? Ant Man! Ugh. I mean, at least it's enhanced, but it's freaking Ant-Man. Who cares about Ant-Man? God, weak sauce. <laughs> I use Ant-Man to store all my unique items. Here you go. Ha have an actual Ant-Man thing. Eh, that's kind of lame. What do I even have on him now? Because I thought that's... Oh, that's why. Because I got like the movie costume. And since sometimes Wasp. Yeah, that was weak. Super weak. Wasp would be a cool playable character to get. I know lots of people wanted her. Lots and lots. She was super popular. Well, yeah, like in the comics, wasn't Ultron built by Pym originally? He wasn't built by Stark, was he? I know Vision was built by Stark, or at least I'm pretty sure. I mean, again, you, you guys know that I'm not, like, completely up on that. Look at all these people farming Vulture. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? People are like vultures for Vulture. I find that to be a hilarious irony.
Ew, put it back. Oh, Vision was built by Ultron. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so, I mean, for the second Avengers movie, they just made everything Tony Stark so that they didn't have to worry much about all that various stuff. But Vision did always have the uh, the gem, right? The Wait, no. Yeah, he did. He always had the Infinity Gem. That was kind of the point. Or the Infinity Stone, rather. I apologize. Wait, did that say Andrew Hare? It is. <laughs> so, for the for those of you who don't know, Andrew Hare is one of the developers at Gazillion for um for the game. And he's actually a really cool guy. He's really awesome. So, he does uh charity streams for diabetes cuz he's a he's an insulin dependent diabetic. So, every once in a while he has um he does live streams to raise money for the ADA. Um uh, not no, not not the ADA. That's the American Dental Association. But um, I don't remember what the main dia diabetes one is. But yeah, he, and he raises like thousands of dollars. It's it's really cool. He he's a really cool dude. Plus, he's just really nice, and he's active on Twitter. He never had an Infinity Stone. Well, what the fudge? So what you're saying is that movies lied to me? Why would movies lie to me? I'm Danny, and I am amazing. Why would a movie lie about what things are? Okay? That is not what movies do. Movies teach us awesomeness. I want to be a scientist. Do you think if I ask really nicely that Gazillion would name a scientist character after me? My vote is no. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. The And hence why it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe rather than the Marvel Comic Book Universe. Because they are their, their own canon. Oh yeah, I under I'm perfect I'm perfectly fine with the movies having their own canon. I just wasn't certain how close it was and I was curious how close it was to um to the comic ones. I I, I don't think that they should be beholden to anything. I mean, I to an extent, I can understand the appeal of people wanting movies and TV shows and everything to be beholden to the previous canon. But at the same time, then you're just going from one media to another. And it's like, what's the point? Why would you bother doing that? It's like there, there's there's no reason to. It doesn't do anybody any good. But that's just me. Transformers. Yeah, like Transformers, they've got... Like everything is different canon. Noth nothing is sacred. <laughs> yeah, I think pretty much the only thing that they've got is like... Optimus is the good guy and Megatron's the bad guy. And um, even that, I imagine, is rather flexible on occasion, right? <laughs> I mean, I would assume. I mean, again, just like with Marvel, you know, like Doctor Doom is the bad guy, except when he's not the bad guy. Oh my god! That reminds me, I don't know if you guys watch it at all, but there was um, the the most recent episode of last week tonight. He talked about vaccines, and first off, I did it first. Okay, I totes did that, and John Oliver took my idea because clearly it was all my idea, and he's just jelly and trying to ride my coattails. So pfft, whatevs, John Oliver thinks he's so cool. Uh, but one thing they did is they had an interview with a doctor. Um, who he's an advocate for essentially it's a different schedule it's the different vaccine schedule where the kids still get all of their vaccines but they do it at a different pace essentially and that's one of the the big like alternatives that people are trying to tout as a oh it's so much better blah 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 um but first off there's no evidence that doing the different um 
doing the different schedule is any better than doing the regular schedule. And the other funny thing was that they asked him straight up, do you believe that vaccines cause autism? And he said, I'll say what I always tell my patients where vaccines do not cause autism except when they do. And it's like, dude, you giant, giant douching butthole. Like, no, it's a yes or no question. And the answer is no. <laughs> You are a doctor. You need to say correct information. You are a douchebag. Hate him. Sorry, I'm done with my rant now. I just had to get that out there. I really like the segment. I'm, I mean, I just really enjoy John Oliver in general. But yeah, that particular one, I was just like, what the fudge? Because for those, for those unaware, I... This was... God, how long ago was this? Maybe three and a half or four years ago, something like that. It was it was pretty soon after I started, um, after I started making my videos initially, that I did my vaccine discussion thing. And so yeah, it's it's one of the one of the scientific topics that I'm very very passionate about, and that tends to make my blood boil. I I have like two or three of those things that really just make me go crazy and just frustrate me to no end. And the worst part is like, I mean, I can respect the other side and I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, in science, there is right and wrong and they are wrong. <laughs> like, there is good science and there is non-science and science wins or at least it's supposed to <laughs> wow oh that's terrible retro that's it's hilarious but that's just terrible but yeah that's the type of thing where it's like literally if there is a causal relationship then Everybody who does the thing does the other thing or gets the other thing. Like whatever whatever the issue is, if it is truly a causal relationship, then A inexorably leads to B. That That is the definition of a causal relationship. If that doesn't exist, then it's not a cause. You know, like... Like smoking, for example. Smoking is a cause of emphysema. If you smoke, it is extremely likely that you will get emphysema. It's a fact. It is a causative notion. Let me see. Uh, somebody posted a comic, and I want to see it real quick. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is a really funny comic. I love it. That that's awesome. <laughs> Autism causes vaccines. That is hilarious. Well, I mean, we could go into like a giant diatribe about like the client chain, not client change, climate change and all of the issues surrounding that because let's face it that's probably one of the biggest ones um, as far as the differential representation in um, in society and what people believe versus what's actually active and what's actually true where you know, what is it like 95 percent of scientists agree that client climate change why do i keep saying client change agree that climate change is happening but when you watch newscasts and programs and stuff then you always see side a and side b and they're equally represented within the news media and you know like because it's supposedly like oh we have to hear both sides and it's like well how about you give them a proportional amount of time where you allow 
the people who believe cli climate change is happening can talk for, you know, a minute. And then people who don't believe in climate change can talk about it for what? I guess that would be about two seconds or so would be the, the proportional amount of time. So there you go. That is fair. And it's representative. Your steam money went to Sephora. What the fudge? Hashtag priorities. Why do you have your priorities all out of line, Marathon? You have two priorities. You got to feed the tiny human and you got to buy games. That is it. That is all that you need to do. That is true. They do have more money. Can't really deny that fact. Incidentally, we just saw... Let me see if we can catch up here. Ah, there. The Doctor Doom. Where'd you go? Oh, where'd you go? So the the Doctor Doom with the white cloak is... I mean, that, that could have been the hero, but there's there's a team-up version of Doctor Doom with the, with the white outfit, and that's the Future Foundation one. So that particular team-up we can no longer get after the uh, licensing changes. Bunch of stuff from Sephora. Fancy. Yeah, and I mean, let, well, when we saw that with the, what was it, the Georgia special election a little while ago, where it was like the the most expensive house race al almost in history. Um, and it was, you know, like, can, can the Democrats make this massive key blow and... You know, can the, the Republicans keep it? And it's like so drama, you know, it's so drama. But yeah, it's super fancy. And they spent like tens of millions of dollars on it. And it, and like the, the Democratic guy, he was like 30. He was super young, which was crazy. And still it was very close. Like people are saying that it's a victory for the Republicans, but at the same time, it's like, you know, the Democrats did come very, very close with somebody who is literally completely unknown, and that is impressive. What did she get? Rev doesn't know what she bought. Why are you asking? He's just going to be like, uh, like powder stuff or whatever. See, those egg-shaped sponge things. He doesn't even know what it is. I told you. Wow, I'm like, oh, right, that stupid drill. That thing really does a lot of damage. You so paid. No, you didn't, Rev. Don't lie. She, she got the egg shaped sponge things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was happy. She okay. I mean, yeah, sure. So everybody's happy, and that's what really matters. Okay. Fine. Understood. And hashtag true. Ugh. Ooh. Marvelpower.com now has costumes and heroes available. That's fun. I find it hilarious that these guys are like sitting here watching the movie and then we walk in and they don't even pay attention. They just keep watching the movie. Let her put, oh, that's so cute. That's adorable, Rev. I mean, that's like the thing to do though, right? It's like you, you let the daughter put makeup on you. It's totes dorbs. That, that's what I said. Like, you know, I mean, you know, you, that's, that is that that is good because that is the thing to do and it is all the awesomes and that's a lot of awesomes did anybody ever watch that show i actually really liked it i'm waiting to see if they have another season because they sort of left it on the cliffhanger is that, is that hulk i think it is 
Is that Cap? Oh, no, that's Iron Man. So, yeah, they're talking about Cap in the, in the little thing up here. Rev always has to look his fabulous. His most fabulous. He's always wearing makeup. Class was already in session, Taskmaster. Oh god, that was such a waste. Dang it! Look at all those eternity splinters, you guys! You guys know how many human torches I can buy with all those eternity splinters? Exactly. Zero. But it's okay. Mystical energies. Well, that's what I mean. Like the it's the thing to do. You let the you let the little like the the female tiny humans put makeup on you or the male tiny humans, you know, we don't judge. Or at least we try not to. It's difficult for some, but you know, we do what we can. Some people they just can't handle it, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing, cable? Oh, TH. TH be crazy. You guys, I'm hungry. I need some food. I don't know why I'm hungry. I had good breakfast. Mostly I'm just like really freaking sore. Like, I'm, I'm so achy. Oh, yeah, that's not tiny. No, you, I mean, you, you have a... You have like a smaller human, but definitely not a tiny human. No. But yeah, like yesterday I was lifting all of the giant stuff and that's why I'm like super tired. Well, yeah, and I, I think that it's important for both girls and boys to have good role models. Dang it, his lips still don't move. It really bugs me. <laughs> it's really tiny, but it really bothers me. It it shouldn't bug me that much, I know, but still it does. Aww. I want to see if I can find that paper about the running technique. Well, and Merthelin, I imagine that that's the case with any single parent, right? Is that they, they want to find somebody that really enjoys being around the kid and can care for them and love them and all that good stuff. Maybe not like replace the other parent because, you know, you still have biology, you still have blood, and that's important. Um, I mean, even if the person isn't involved, it's still... I mean, that's a relationship that nobody can, like, replace, essentially, because it will always be there, and it will still be important to an extent. Like, granted, the, I mean, in the end, it's kind of up to the kid, though, right? You know, where, like, 
do you view your biological parents as your parents or do you view your step parents as the person who was your parent you know because we see that we see that and i mean it's not something that i'm personally experienced with on any side of the issue so i can't really speak intelligently about it but i try I try to at least be sympathetic about it. What is this? The passive aggression of the Christ. <laughs> That's awesome. But Jesus wouldn't do that. Jesus is cool. Jesus is cool. Oh, you know what's hilarious? Earlier today, I, I talked to somebody about Mormonism uh, because they're, they're a former Mormon and I sh I showed him the South Park episode about Mormonism and it's so hilarious. And it's it's always funnier to know that everything about that episode is accurate as far as what Mormons believe. And that just makes it so much better. And it's just like... I really need to see that show, the uh, the um, the Book of Mormon. I haven't watched it yet. I think it's coming to town at some point. I don't know. I'll have to check. Exactly. What would Jesus do? Well, he flipped tables. He bashed people with switches. Like... I mean, Jesus was hardcore, dude. You don't mess with Jesus. So, yeah, like, what would he do? It's like, you know, he, he didn't always turn that other cheek. You know, sometimes he beat the snot out of that cheek. So, just saying. It's within the realm of possibility. Oh, my God, that reminds me. Think, I think uh, Merthwin actually got it for me. I got the uh, tabletop simulator, and it's so hilarious because there's literally a button that says flip table, and I'm just like, yes! <laughs> and that's what it does. Like It flips the whole table, and all the pieces go flying. It's so freaking hilarious, you guys. It's awesome. The tabletop simulator is just amazingly hilarious. What would Jesus do? So, <laughs> there, there was a story that I read. Um, well, it wasn't really a story. It was just like a Reddit post. Um, that was it, it was like a Facebook uh, screen capture thing. And essentially somebody posted where, you know, like Jesus is testing me and I don't know how much more I can take of this. And it's so difficult sometimes and all this kind of stuff. And... Um, and then some somebody commented on the Facebook status basically saying like, oh, you know, don't worry. Jesus always tests us and you just need to maintain your faith and all will be well. And, you know, like you'll move forward and be happy and all this kind of stuff. And then the, the original poster was like, what are you talking about? Jesus is my son. He got suspended from school for punching a janitor again. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, what? It's because he's hardcore. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh yeah, Jesus very well may get tacos. And I just want to say, I would be down with getting some tacos with Jesus. I, I imagine Jesus as a bro, you know. But that would mean he would have to follow the bro code. You know, bros before hoes and, you know, no n no getting with your bro's ex. Always say yes to your bro. I mean, you know, Jesus got to follow the rules just like anybody else is all I'm saying. Jesus got to be down for the rules. What is this? <laughs> nice. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, right. I got to fight the stupid serpent statue things, don't I? I always forget that part of this. the 
fudge? I don't remember these things taking so long to destroy. Seems really pointless. Well, it looks like I'm gonna get get it to sixty with Iron Fist here, and that means that I will have. I mean, technically, it's my third fully level red. Because I have Beast, and I've got Rocket, and now I'll have Iron Fist. Beast went on to become a Cosmic Bro. I don't know. Do you guys think Jesus would be a bro? I like to think he would be. He seems cool. Seems like a pretty chill dude. Oh, cool! I'm excited. I always get so excited when I get like all these notifications from Twitter. I'm always like, yay! People are tweeting and retweeting and love zings. And I'm like, yay! Woo! Not only that, but my recent board game video. Oh my god. So like I put up my new board game video yesterday. It already has like 150 views. I'm like, what the fudge? I genuinely do not remember the last time that I put out a video that got that many views that quickly. I'm like super stoked. Like super duper stoked. Let me see. Let me see. I'm curious how many it has now. Okay, it's got 141, but still, that's a lot. Considering that I published it less than 24 hours ago, for me, that's freaking huge. <laughs> Depends on which Jesus we're talking about. Oh, Lord, little baby Jesus, so comfortable in your little crib. <laughs> Jesus was a grown man with a beard. <laughs> well, I like the Christmas version. <laughs> oh, God, that movie is hilarious. You guys know what movie that is, right? Please tell me you know what movie that is. Oh, yeah. Well, Duel was part of the reason why I made that list in the first place, honestly. Like, that that's what sort of, like, got the, the inception of the list. Snake Bro is not a true bro. Oh, I can't focus my chi. My name is Danny Rand, and I can't focus my chi. Bleh. Hey, look, you guys, I got level 60. Woo! Go, Danny. Woo! <laughs> disco. 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 Did you guys see me disco? I went to the discotheque, y'all. It was so good. And the music was like... <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? There's actually a song called... <laughs> by the Bloodhound Gang. It's a horrible, horrible song. Well, I don't like it. Yeah, I kind of agree. I think that it's more of like the, the legends, legend status type of thing. Because it's like there's, we have like evidence that some of these people did exist and approximately what times they existed. And oh, like there was another one. There was, I um, can't remember the guy's name now. But so Jesus was the prophet for Christianity and then there was there was another prophet and I don't remember the guy's name off the top of my head now. But uh, he was another prophet who was very similar to Jesus in terms of his abilities where like he would heal the poor or heal the blind and sick and all that kind of stuff. 
Ah, oh, dang, then I can't remember the guy's name. It's gonna bug me. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember. It'll probably come to me. I, I'm not exactly a, a theologian, so I tend to forget a lot of this kind of stuff. Where is... is this it? No, that's the one I just got. There we go. Did I not have a Mystical Energies? Yeah, I was about to say, I, I could have sworn I had a Mystical Energies. I agree, it really is, Rev. Like the the early histories and and just like I mean just reading history in general I find very intriguing but specifically like the history of the Christian Church and stuff is just it's just fascinating it really is I mean like Spock level like fascinating you know like legit speaking of which oh my god you guys like oh my god there's the um Ah, uh, what's it called? Dang it. There we go. Um I I got the uh, the Star Trek Bridge Crew game, the the VR game. Oh my god, it is so much fun, you guys. You have no idea. It's just like it's it's a blast. I have so much fun with it. I've played online a few times like with other people and it's just it's seriously just so much fun. I just love it. Well, I had fun anyway. If you all have ever played Artemis, it's very similar to that. Ah, I should host an Artemis night. That's another fun game. There's a baby. Oh my god, baby! Why are people so obsessed with babies? I never really understood it. I mean, does that mean I'm, like, the devil? Yeah. I, I agree with you, Rev. I think that one of the one of the most important things. I mean, if you if you're talking about like long term relationships, one of the most important things is making sure that you align on family values. And you know, like, what do you both want? Do you both want the same thing? Because that's generally something that's not going to change. Um, like the way you feel about having or not having a family. It's. I mean, yes, it can change, but generally, it's so ingrained within you and like your psyche as a person it just yeah no 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 but either way it's important you have the same jews <laughs> as a hilarious auto autocorrect absolutely hilarious but well i think i'm gonna get going here real quick um so uh, this was a fun time. I got to do the. Uh, I, I got to get Iron Fist up to level sixty again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, it's 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 nice. We've got the the homecoming event, the Spider Man event. Very sad about the Fantastic Four though. So very disappointing, but still, it's um it's pretty hilarious. Wait, it's not hilarious, but it's fun. It's fun to play Marvel Heroes. It's nice to get back to my roots as an awesome streamer of awesomeness, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get going with that. I've got some like random stuff to do. I gotta get to work, and I've got some shopping to do and stuff. But y'all take care. Have fun with your shopping and makeups and whatnots. But take care. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, tell TH that we all said hi. It's so sad not being able to talk to TH. I mean, she didn't call me a noob, and I feel kind of empty. 
because I didn't get called a noob by TH today. But either way, take care, everybody. Thank you so much again for watching. And um, I'll probably have a poll for Monday. So keep an eye out on it. Uh, keep an eye out for it. But either way, bye-bye, everybody.